28. Corruption shapes African leaders who do nothing towards the progress of their nations and its citizens. Using illustrations from the Samaritan by John Lara, write a composition. Corruption breeds distrustful leaders more concerned with evading punishment than advancing their nation's progress. John Lara as the Samaritan vividly portrays characters like Ramday, Seymour, and Ted, exemplifying unethical practices that exploit citizens for personal gain. Leaders resort to bribery to secure power or perpetuate their positions within the municipal hierarchy. When threatened by the Samaritan app, Jaden, Ted, Harvester, Seymour, Bastio, and Mossy collude with Judge Jaden to thwart public exposure. Mossy proposes bribing Nicole, offering her a prestigious role to control the app, ensuring compliance with their agenda. Despite Nicole's objections, Bastio and Seymour insist on granting her the position, illustrating how bribery permeates leadership dynamics in the play. Violence becomes a tool for maintaining power when Nicole remains steadfast in opposing the Samaritan app's demise. Mayor Ramday, Seymour, and Ted orchestrate a meeting aimed at ousting Mossy and the mayor, advocating for mobilizing the Red Eagle Network a violent youth group to intimidate dissenters. Ramday's admission of ignorance regarding the mayor's violent nature underscores the ruthlessness employed to retain authority, with testimonies revealing the militaristic precision of their operations. Propaganda emerges as another tactic for acquiring or safeguarding power. Seymour manipulates council funds under the guise of addressing municipal sanitation issues, while Mossy fabricates stories to discredit the Samaritan app, portraying it as a threat to public safety. Their deceit extends to coercing Harvester into disseminating false information and plotting to frame Nicole for theft, highlighting the pervasive nature of misinformation in preserving leadership positions. Threats and manipulation further cement leaders' hold on power. The mayor's administration resorts to arresting and falsely accusing Nicole of theft to silence her dissent. Bambi, complicit in corruption, advocates for Nicole's arrest to maintain his privileged position within the council. Students and even the principal anticipate Nicole's persecution, illustrating the pervasive fear instilled by leaders to enforce compliance. In conclusion, the characters in The Samaritan, including the mayor, Seymour, Bambi, and Bastio, are driven by the fear of losing power. Their methods, whether through bribery, violence, propaganda, or manipulation, reveal the lengths to which corrupt leaders will go to preserve their positions, often at the expense of the progress and well-being of their nations.